To achieve state-of-the-art on movie lens in 2018, this paper used single-user likes to user colikes and single-user colikes data via the composition. Uh, re today I'm reading regularizing matrix factorization with user and item embeddings for recommendation. It's from uh, Tan Tran Kumin Lee from Worcester Polytechnic Institute USA, Yiming Liao Du Wong Lee, Penn State University USA. Abstract is following recent successes in exploiting both latent factor and word embedding models in recommendation. We propose novel regularized multi embedding based recommendation model that simultaneously encapsulates following ideas via the composition. Which items a user likes, which two users collect the same items, which two items users often collect, which two items users often co disliked. In experimental validation, RME outperforms state-of-the-art models in both uh, explicit and implicit feedback data sets, significantly improving recall by 5 to 7 percent, and, and DCG by 4 to 5 percent, MAP by 7 to 8 percent. In addition, under call start scenario for users with the lowest number of interactions against the competing models, the RME outperforms NDCG by 20% and 29% in movie lens 10M and movie lens 20M datasets, respectively. Our datasets and uh, source code are available at github tandrtranrme.git. Uh, this paper is from 2018 August. Uh, that's the date submitted to archive. Okay, so um, they have these three observations. First observation is that if two users A and B dislike the same movies, we can assume that A and B have the same movie interests. Uh, in this case, so if a user prefer Thor Dark World, but never watch, you can precisely recommend. Yeah, so first observation it's which two users, which are the collide movies by a single user. For, yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, in this paper, we made following attributions. We proposed a joint RME model which combined weighted matrix factorization, collide item embedding, codex like item embedding, and user embedding for both explicit and implicit feedback data sets. Uh, we designed user-oriented ME-like algorithm to draw negative samples, that is, disliked items, from implicit feedback dataset. datasets. We conducted comprehensive experiments and showed that the RME model substantially outperforms uh, several baseline models in both explicit and implicit feedback datasets. Items uh, preliminaries. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. Uh, I I need to get the juice of the paper. Conclusion: In this paper, we propose to exploit different co-occurrence co information. Code is like item item. Co-occurrence is an user. Uh, code is like item item co-occurrences. User user co-occurrences which were extracted from user item interaction matrix. We proposed a joint model combining WMF, uh, collide embedding, code is liked embedding, and user embedding, following the recent success of word embedding techniques. Uh, through comprehensive experiments, we successfully demonstrated that our model outperformed all baselines, significantly improving NDCG by 5% movie lens than M, um, uh, by 5.3 in movies lens 20M datasets and by 4.3 in taste profile dataset. We also analyzed how model worked on different types of users in terms of their interactions activity levels. We observed that our model significantly improved NDCG by 20% in movie lens 10M by 29% in movie lens 20M and for cold start uh, user groups. In, in future extensions of our model, we are interested in selecting context for user items by setting timestamp based window size for timestamp datasets. In addition, we are also interested in incorporating co dislike patterns among users, that is, co disliked user embeddings into our model.
Okay, so that I think was the, uh, the spice of the paper that has to flow. Um, I hope I gave you basic overview. I would like to now go slightly in more detail, but not for long. I need to actually leave uh, very soon. So introduction, among collaborative filtering methods in recommendation, we see new latent factor models using metric factorization a bit widely used. LMF are known to yield relatively high prediction accuracy, are language independent, allow additional side information to be easily incorporated and decomposed together. However, most of LMF only exploited positive feedback while neglecting negative feedback and treated them as missing data. In movie recommender items, it was observed that many users who enjoyed watching Thor, Dark World and Thor Ragnarok in this case, Thor Ragnarok can be seen as a pair of co light movies. So in, if user preferred Thor uh, but never watched Thor Ragnarok, the system can precisely recommend Thor Ragnarok to her uh, first observation. Similarly, if two users, AB, uh, like the same movie, we can assume that AB have the same movie interest. If movie A likes a movie, that B has not watched, the system can recommend the movie to be second observation. In the same manner, we ask if a co created dislike movie can provide any meaningful information. Uh, we observed that the most users who rated Pledge Days poorly also gave a lo low rating for Run For Your Wife uh, on average. If the disliked co current pattern was exploited, Run For Your Wife would not be recommended to other users who did not enjoy pledge this for the observation. This will help to reduce false positive rate for recommender systems. The same phenomena would have also occurred in the other recommendation domains. First two observations are similar to the basic assumptions of the item CF and user CF. Uh, context, what is the CF? Okay, very similar scores between users and them are used to infer the next recommendation for users. Unfortunately, on the first two observations, being exploited in conventional uh, collaborative filtering, collaborative filtering, while uh, treating the negative feedback item different from missing data led to better results to the best of our own knowledge. No previous work has exploited this first observation to enhance the recommender assistance performance. Therefore, in this paper, we attempt to exploit all three observations in one model to achieve the recommendation result. With the recent success of the word embedding techniques in natural language processing, if we consider pairs of co-current dislike items on pairs of co current users as a pairs of co occurred words, we can apply word embedding to learn Latin representation of item, that is uh, item embeddings and user embeddings. Based on this, we propose regularized multi-embedding based on recommendation model. Okay, regularized multi Multi embedding based on recommendation model RME, which jointly decomposes user item interaction matrix, a user co occurrence matrix, and user co liked item co occurrence matrix for co dislike items co occurrence matrix. The RME model concurrently exploits the co liked co occurrence patterns and co dislike co occurrence patterns of items to enrich item slot and factors. It also augments user slot and factors by incorporating user co-occurrence patterns on their preferred items. Figure 1 illustrates the overview of RME model. Uh, both liked and disliked items can be explicitly measured by rating scores. Uh, in explicit feedback data sets, such as five star rating data sets, however, in implicit feedback data sets, music listening, and so on, users do not explicitly express their preference. In the implicit feedback data sets, song plays and neural clicks could indicate how users like items, the specific feedback samples. But uh, inferring the dislike items to get the song is a big challenge due to the nature of implicit feedback. In order to deal with this challenge, we propose algorithm which infer users dislike items in implicit feedback data sets so that we can and build RME model and recommend items in both explicit and implicit feedback data In this paper, we propose contribution. We propose joint RME model, which combine weighted matrix factorizations and collect and collect disliked item user embeddings for both explicit and implicit feedback data set. We designed user oriented EM like algorithm to draw negative samples that is disliked from implicit feedback data sets. We conducted comprehensive uh, experiments to show that the RME model substantially performs several baseline models in both explicit and implicit feedbacks. 
preliminary is items are the objects that the user interact with, like the items, the like items, explicit few base such as data sets, uh, item has a stars, stop and recommendation is paper if you on top and increment which uh, recommendation model such as a list of top and most appealing items to user we present an interaction between user and items by matrix MN where M is the number of user and the number of any user likes M will set one from M, we are interested in extracting co-occurrence patterns, in including like item co-occurrence, dislike co-occurrence, user co-occurrence. Our explicit goal is to display the co-occurrence information to not an imagination of users and items, then recommend top end items uh, for users. Our RME model, the WMF embedding and RME model, weighted matrix factorization. First, we review the weighted matrix factorization and co-liked item embeddings. Then we propose co-liked item density user embedding. Finally, we describe enemy model and present how to compute. Weighted matrix factorization. Weighted matrix factorization widely used collaborative things building methods in a common system given the sparse user item matrix. The idea is WMF is to decompose M into a uh, product of um, two low rank matrices U and P. Um, where uh, where k is the number of dimensions here u interprets a latent factor matrix of users and p interprets a latent factor of uh, items. Uh, we denote ut and r key as a uh, latent factor matrix. Uh, similarly, we denote p represents a latent factor matrix with a hyperparameter. Uh, is hyperparameter compensating interaction between users and item is used to balance the number of non zero zero parameters sparse user item matrix. The weight of, of interaction between user and item can be set to T, whereas relative scale is a constant to quadratic range action. Word embedding model. Word embedding models have recently received a lot of attention for us to community. Given a sequence of training where is uh, embedding uh, models on the Latin presentation for each word. For example, the word to is one of the most popular word embedding models. Special script Bram Bram model word to wake tries to predict the surrounding word, word context given the word tra training set. According to Levy, skip Bram model with negative sampling is equivalent to factorized word context matrix whose uh, cells are pointwise mutual information of the respective word and concept pairs shifted by a global constant. Uh, let the uh, be collection of the observer and context pairs and PMI between the word I and word J as calculated as follows logarithm PIJ divided by uh, PI times PJ, where PIJ is joint probability and J represents the within. Duh, duh, duh. By calculating PMI for all word contexts in D, we can form squared matrix when it is number of discrete words. If the shifty point wise mutual information, PMI is calculated as well. Where S is hyperparameter to control the density of PMI matrix, it can be interpreted in equivalent as hyperparameter in the case number of negative samples in SGNS. When S is a large, more values in the matrix are clear, the leading PMI to be become sparser. Collect item embeddings, all E, all I E. As mentioned in previous studies, uh, when users like the dislike the sequence item by saying the an interaction in order between the user and the sequence, thus performing like item embedding Latin representation of items equivalent to the form embedding to learn Latin representation of words. Therefore, we can apply word embedding methods to learn representation of the items and perform joint learning with individual embedding interaction of factors and measures. Given the users like items, we generate collect an item item concurrence patrons particularly given the item item sequence, we consider all in this context. We call this method the greedy context generation method, which can be applied to non-time sent data sets. So given users liked item list, we generate co-liked item item concurrence pairs without considering liked time. Particularly given a certain item in the item sequence, we consider all other items as its context. We call these methods as greedy consumer. After generating item, item context pair, we construct the item concurrence matrix SPPMI matrix to perform SPPMI matrix factorization. In particular, given generation item, item concurrence pairs, we construct SPPMI matrix of items by applying equation to, to calculate the pointwise mutual information of each parameter. Okay, could dislike item representation. As mentioned in introduction, when user dislike the item pairs together, uh, the two items can form a pair of concurrent dislike items. Okay, um, so the RME model, uh, RME model is a joint uh, learning model combined uh, combining the weighted matrix factorization collect the uh, item embedding code is like embedding and user embedding. It minimizes the following objective function. Um, 
but the items have been written using shared b b among the AMFs, collect item, collect item, this is certain the presentation shared between the users embedding and SPMI matrices contracts constructed by calling item item patterns or just like patterns and so calling. Uh, SPMI matrix constructed by users. Okay, so uh, so um, what is the last function here? Yeah, we'll have to dig deeper. So they have obviously a standard regularization where they take all the parameters and uh, is, uh, is this uh, L squared uh, regularization and then they have this, ah, uh, okay, code is like, so and then they have these loss functions for embedding of the different items. Okay, so they are I guess they are trying to find the smallest matrix which minimizes all of these loss function release regularization and those functions uh, represent those free um, you know the collect uh, code is liked and user embedding. Uh, and all of these three, they optimize them in, the, I guess, the same way and uh, making sure that uh, all the objectives plus the regularization uh, uh, achieves the lowest value. And that's, that seems how it works. All right, so I think this is the, this was the core, this loss function. <coughs> okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you next time. Uh, this was quite an interesting paper. <coughs> I hope I understood it correctly. So uh, please uh, dislike and unsubscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye.